Welcome everyone to the most exciting action here this week. This is 205 Live. And you just saw a few minutes ago that Noam Dar, our new Cruiserweight champion, is here. And he's already full of himself. Well, tonight, after winning his championship last week, he will be in action as the Sky Supernova, Noam Dar, will be going one on one against Mark Andrews, the debuting Mark Andrews. How that match affect the Cruiserweight Champion's very first match, we'll see. And also here tonight, we'll be hearing from Seth Alexander. He has a lot of stuff to say. This might be something you do not want to miss here on 205 Live. Well, let's get started with our first matchup of the night. Tag team action here on 205 Live. You're probably wondering why. Well, this is Drew Gulak. And earlier tonight, before 205 Live went on the air, he confronted Avari Davari and saying, hey, it's a new day here in 205 Live. Stuff is changing. How about me and you become partners? See how this works out just for tonight. Avari Davari agreed, and this is why this tag team match is happening. The first time here on 205 Live, Drew Gulak and Avari Davari are teaming up. Let's see how things go. I mean, Drew Gulak, he was in pursuit of the Cruiserweight title before. He failed, though, when Neville was the Cruiserweight champion. Now, Neville here isn't here anymore. I guess he believes now he has a fighting chance to one day become the Cruiserweight Champion. But for right now, Team Ofari Davari, he's going to see how this works. If it doesn't work, well, it's back to the drawing board. We'll see how things go here tonight. As his partner is arriving to the ring right now. Here comes the Persian Lion, Avaria Davari. The guy who is so full of himself here in the Cruiserweight division. And it's very interesting that Avari Davari would be teaming up with someone like Drew Gulak. I mean, to be fair, last time I saw Avari Davari, he lost to TJP. He got very, very frustrated. I thought he was about to hang up his boots, but maybe he found a reason to fight again. Whatever Drew Gulak told him backstage, you don't know the exact details of it, but whatever he told him backstage, Got him motivated enough to change the look. See, he got a new look on him. Got some bling on him. Looks like a whole new Avari Davari. Hopefully this works out in their favor. Okay, they're gonna be up to some tough competition. One is the likes of Mustafa Ali. And the other one. Well, he's debuting superstar here on 205 Live. I don't wanna spoil that right now, but you'll see him in a few minutes. So very interesting tag team. Drew Gulak and Navarre Devar. Let's see how things work out. Against the heart of 205 Live. Mustafa Ali. Ali again wants to make a name for himself here in this cruiserweight division. It's a new era here. General manager Drake Maverick is giving him this opportunity here. Tonight's first opportunity since Drake Maverick has been a 205 Live general manager. One opportunity for Mustafa Ali to get back on track. He had a few if he daily time, he lost that one. Again, it's a new beginning here for 205 Live. As of last week, remember, we have a brand new Cruiserweight champion, and we'll be seeing him in action here tonight when he takes on his debuting Mark Andrews. That's not the only debut we'll be seeing here. We'll be seeing a debut here right now. Mustafa Ali's tag team partner. And let's see who it is. Ah, so he's finally here. We saw him last week, but now making his in-ring debut. It is the man of the hour. The 22-year-old piece of gold. This is Leo Rush, and he has finally arrived to 205 Live. Listen to this place. Leo Rush, again, pop, quite possibly one of the most intriguing cruiserweights out there. Not just WWE, but in the whole world. He is so fast. Possibly one of the fastest people I have ever seen that have wrestled in a ring before. And now Leo Rush is here to bring his talent here on 205 Live again. It's a new day, a new era here in the Cruiserweight division. 
last week was something else and hopefully this week can deliver as much what a very again very interesting team we got some ground based people like Avar Devar and Drew Gulek and they're gonna be facing people high flyers like Mustafa Ali and Leo Rush it's a clash between styles high flying and ground based brawling this is gonna be one hell of a tag team match I don't think you do not want to miss guys Let's go, tag team action. Oh man, nice takedown by Drew Gulak. Like I said, Drew Gulak and Avai Devai, they both have a goal to accomplish now here on 205 Live. They want to be more of a technical style here on the Purple Brand. One of the things that they despise is high flying. I can tell you that. He's going to hit it. Yes, he does. Now it's about a matter of who's going to capitalize. Oh, man. These two have been giving each other hell. Oh man. He is hurt. Drew Kulak is hurt. But they're going to try to fight back here. Nice STO by Leo Rush. But all Leo Rush, he's been trying to prove that he can hang with these guys. He has to tag Mustafa Ali in. But that could cost him. Tag in. Here comes a bar to Drew Gulag, I think. It's tired. But Leo Rush could be out cold. Like Javari Javari doesn't care. Oh man. Oh man, these two are brawling. They better be aware of the count. Look like Vardy Vardy realized that. And he's back in. But Leo Rush is trying to go to his partner now, Mustafa Ali. Both men and a disc turnout clothesline. I don't know what the hell you call that. But one, two, and Leo Rush kicks out. Avari <laughs> Devari cannot believe the fight in this man is amazing. I just can't believe it. Leo rushes something else. Oh, nice kick by Rush. But now, wait a minute. Nice back suplex by Ivari Davari. Did 
Dude, the fact Mustafa Ali's in the ring, like, <laughs> why, why would they deal with him first? Oh! This is a nice zigzag variation by Leo Rush. These two teams want to prove why they are the absolute best here to a final line. Tornado DDT by Rush. This could be it. Cover. One. Two. But Drew Gulak breaks up the pin. But now I think. Oh, Jesus Christ. Drew Gulak is knocked out. Rush now calling for it. I don't even know what you call that move, but that move is amazing. Where is Rush looking for? And oh. What is he going for now? Elbow. Straight to the back of the head. To Avari and Davari. Oh man. Oh, Leo Rush could be injured. Davari Davari. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Avari Davari. Come on. Two. Referee, don't see that. There you go. Kick out. Come on, Leo. Probably referee didn't see that. Now Leo Rush again looking for that elbow. We get Lightning doesn't strike twice. Like Leo Rush able to get out of that, and oh Jesus Christ! Well, everybody, everybody looking for that quick tag. Well, Leo was kind of groggy, and oh, Drew Gulak, Leo Rush is too fast for him. Oh Jesus Christ! What a clothesline by Drew Gulak! Law, oh, come on, this could be it. Dragon Sleeper. And Leo Rush taps. Drew Gulak and Amari Damari are victorious. That clothesline did him in. It was that clothesline that changed the tide of that matchup. What a match. Look at that. Tornado. DDT and Amari Damari. So I thought he was able to get out of that lock. And. Oh man. Nice Spanish fly. Leo tried to go for German, but it wasn't enough. Tornado DDT to Gulak. But in the end, Avari Davari and Drew Gulak are victorious here on 205 Live. Look like this team is successful here thus far. This alliance of sorts. Things could be very dim for the Cruiserweight division with these two around. And coming up next, guys, see right there the high flying Mark Andrews making his Cruiserweight debut next. Welcome back guys to 205 Live is on to our next matchup and here comes the Cruiserweight Champion Noam Dar. Last week Noam Dar shocked the world when he became the Cruiserweight Champion after the title was vacated due to contract disputes between Neville and WWE the Cruiserweight title had to be vacated and now sitting around the waist of this man is a title that was once held by the king of the cruiserweights, Neville. What well, you saw earlier tonight, Noam Dar addressed that saying, again, this title was once held by a king, but he didn't realize that the king's reign 
was in his universe. This is Noam Dar's territory now, or at least he'll like to say that. And Dar again, he is on cloud nine. As the Cruiserweight Champion being Graham out of the league. It was originally only supposed to be a number one contenders map, and when he found out early in that night for the Cruiserweight title, all bets were off, and in the end, the Scottish Supernova became victorious, and the prize is right around his waist. The Cruiserweight Championship is now his. He is officially the new king of this division. And let's see how the Cruiserweight Champion fear tonight against the debut of this man. The high flying Mark Andrews. And there he is, guys. Coming over from the NXT UK division. Mark Andrews is here to make an impact on 205 Live. I mean, again, Drake Maddox, when he came here as general manager, he knew the roster. And because of the superstar shakeup, he knew the new people that were coming people like. Leo Rush made his debut earlier here tonight. He, even though he was unsuccessful, he, he did a huge showing against people like Drew Gulak and Avari Davari. Buddy Murphy is still to be coming soon. But right now, this is Mark Andrews' spotlight. Let's see what he got. Here you go, guys. Next matchup here on 205 Live. Noam Dar, Mark Andrews, 101 for the first time ever. And Mark Andrews already coming out hot. I mean, again, I always want to make a good first impression. I don't think Dar was prepared for this. Yeah, I can be paired against someone who never fought before. Mark Andrews not wasting any games. But neither is Noam Dar. And it's why he's the Cruiserweight Champion. Damn, knee straight down to Andrew. I mean, smart move by Noam Dar. He knows Mark Andrews is a high flyer. He needs those legs. So far, we we had on 205 Live. That amazing tag team match debut of Leo Rush. He gave it his all, but Drew Gulak was able to put in that dragon sleeper and call it a night for Leo and Mark. I mean, Mustafa Ali. Now, Dar. His opportunity to show the world here why he is a Cruiserweight champion in his first match since winning the title. And oh, damn. Those kicks straight to the side of Andrews. Again, it could cause very various problems to Andrews as he needs those legs to do his high flying abilities. And oh, that didn't stop him from doing that, though. Cover. This could be a big upset for Andrews. Kick out by one by Dar. <laughs> nice takedown clothesline. Andrew, again, Andrew's being very impressive here on 205. Again, a win over the cruiserweight champion. That could be amazing. Oh, man, what, what is this? Suplex. He did a free, uh, unbelievable. I don't think I've ever seen something like that before. Andrews, oh man, taking the Cruiserweight Champion out. I don't think no one was prepared for this. No, High-flying Andrews. This is how you make your first impression. And oh man, Dar. Dar could be in trouble. And oh. Again, you could be as cocky as ever, Dar, but if you can't back it up, who knows? And you are the Cruiserweight Champion. Oh, man. 
nice springboard. But now Noam Dar was able to. D oh! These! The knees of again, Mark Andrews are giving out. Noam Dar was working on it quickly. Oh, he already's having a submission. Smart move by Dar taking out the knees. Andrews could be in trouble right here. But no. <laughs> Andrews barely able to get out of that. But again, the damage has been done. And no, I don't think it's a smart idea to show buddy right now while Andrews is right behind you. It all bad. Oh. Darn, it would take the stop put a stop to those legs of Andrews, but what else can he do here? We're about to find out. What is Star thinking? Oh, ho, ho, ho. Dar was going for a suicide dive, but Andrew's able to counter that one quickly. Here for the crowd, this is awesome. And, oh man. Mark Angel landed hard on the ground right there. Now Andrews, so quick. Guys going for a springboard, but and it wasn't enough. DDT by Dar. Again, working on those legs. Again, you have to give it to him. Cruiserweight champion, such a young age. He is very smart in the ring. He knows all of his work. Like he knows what he has to do. Weaken his opponent and legs is one of the key things here in this cruiserweight division. Dark calling up Andrews. And, oh man. Andrews caught him. This could be bad for Dar. Oh! <laughs> Dar is in trouble now. Or oh, wait a minute. Dar was able to put a stop to Andrews. Again, face first. Dar is filling in from the crowd. Can Andrews come back into this matchup? And oh man. That that could be it right there. Andrews filling in again. What a win this will be. For Mark. This could be it for Dar. Dar is in trouble. Dar is definitely in trouble. Cover. One, two, three. Mark Andrews has just beaten the Cruiserweight Champion. What a win for Mark Andrews, guys. I cannot believe that, but it seems like Noam Dar does not care because he is still. What? Wait a minute. Is that. It is. It's, it's TJP. What is he doing out here? Dar, you forgot to realize that when you're a champion, you have a target on your back. It looks like TJP wants a shot at Dar. Well, coming up next, guys, Sega Alexander, he is here live. He has some stuff to say. Let's see what Alexander has to say up next. But next week, guys, the debut of the Lucha House Party Grand Metal League, Vince Dorago. Lucha House Party next week on 205 Live. And here he is, the man that we have a lot of questions for, and hopefully he give us answers to. Cedric Alexander told us last week that he had something very important to discuss here, and he wants to discuss it in front of everyone here on 205 Live.
I mean, last week after his loss to TJB, he did show respect to him. But that still doesn't say the fact that Ty Alexander, a decorated competitor in his own right here in this Cruiserweight division, helped build the foundation of this division. Has some stuff to say. I, I'm really curious as to what he has to say here. I mean, I know he has been a lot of setbacks. I mean, he has been winning a lot, but let's see what the age of Alexander has to say. Spotlight is yours, Cedric. Let's see what this is all about. I'm, I'm actually very curious, guys. I'm actually in a loss of words right now. I mean, Sega Alexander is like, again, one of the, found, the foundations of this brand. He's one of the first people here. I mean, I understand, Sega Alexander. Get your head together, man. Hopefully, you'll come back. And when you do come back, you will be what you said, the Cruiserweight Champion. I mean, guys, thank you guys for watching um, 205 Live. We'll see you next week. And the hottest action here on this channel. Wait, whoa, 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 what? Is that... Is that Hideo Itami? What? What are you doing? Hideo, I mean, Hideo's been in the back for weeks now saying he wants respected opportunity. Drake Mack haven't give it to him. I mean, just came last week, man. This is how you just how to do it. Attacking Sega Alexander from behind? What the hell? Oh, God. Throw him in the LED board. And again... Can, can somebody come out here and get some help? What the hell? Oh my god, no. He Dale, come on, you tackling behind GTS to Cedric Alexander. What the hell has gotten into He Dale Itami? Can, can somebody please get some help out here? Cedric Alexander is not moving. Please, yo, someone get some help right now. He Dale, what the hell? What the hell, man? Why?